Hi, this is just a quick video. I'm not really scripting this like usual. Um, so apparently two matches passed away. And when I looked at the case, it's not, I didn't find any police records yet, which I'm, I'm going to try to find. And that's not illegal, by the way. If, if you want to look up uh, police records, it's completely legal and you're within your right if you want to investigate something yourself so some people may think what i want to look into might be illegal too but it's really not it, th those records are usually public but anyway that's not what i'm here to discuss today i just wanted to say that everything just makes sense now and uh, i think i can give you a good timeline of what happened uh, within two Matt's career, so I think, I think around the time he made this video, uh, Nerf Lucio. Yeah, okay. Oh my god, that's getting this video demonetized for when I get demonetization. Okay. How the fuck am I in your game, Mango? I was playing Widow last game, and this motherfucker Check is the only out. person on the entire team that can deal with me. <laughs> okay. Okay, so... After this, uh, these videos, I feel like these are like the last sane videos, like, where he's not using anything. Right? If you know about, um, the situation, people are saying that he used drugs and overdosed on them. Uh, and it's been radio silence from him for a long while. It's on his Discord. It says that he's been playing Overwatch for five days, uh, and apparently his family called and he's unresponsive. I'm not. Like, this is not really uh, certain knowledge. That's why I'm looking into records because I really like this guy. I mean, I I like his videos because they were just funny up until like. You know, schizo shit. He started schizo posting. But, whatever. So, this is, this is like where 2Matt is normal, right? He's doing normal shit. He, Genji videos. Fucking montages. They're a little unhinged, but nothing out of the ordinary for that while, right? Okay, so this is where he starts using. After all the Overwatch stuff gets, gets, uh, you know, gets done with, gets over, he gets over with, with the, the Overwatch stuff. I'm not, this is complete fucking improvisation. I'm stuttering. Never drink Nano Cola. So yeah, basically around like these videos, I would think that he started doing, uh, using something. Yeah, his like after he stopped making montage videos, I I would I think this is my guess as to what the timeline is. This is where he start started using Scream it the worst horror game ever. Yeah, because when when he started streaming with his own uh, face and stuff going on, he started acting crazy. I feel like like he was he wanted to do that, but. Uh, well, uh, what pushed him over the edge of doing that? It's not really, like, a bad thing to see stream with your face cam on, so that's not what I'm, that's not, that's not what I'm pointing to. Uh, like, that, that's, that's the point at which he started acting like a complete lunatic and started going out in public. The, the, you laugh, you lose stuff. I feel like maybe these might might have been sane. Like it's that we might be like too early in the timeline here. I don't know. He looks like he looks completely wasted. Look at looking at his facial expressions. I, I, like I'm I'm looking into this because I watched this shit when I was when when I was a little kid. He it was he was fucking awesome. It was like. I don't know, all I actually watched for a long while. Because the rest of the stuff on YouTube was fucking pathetic. 
that because this was around the time when the apocalypse had happened. It's, hor it's horrible. Anyway, I think this is where he start stopped making Overwatch videos, and this is where he started using probably like three years ago, maybe. But then again, thinking about it, only three years of using probably probably wouldn't kill you, would it? I don't know. Well, uh, that's... I don't know what the... I'm not really sure about when he did that t thing to that girl, I think, it was called Bella. But yeah, this is where the schizo post began, like, a year ago. No. Black Ops, Dirt House. This is watching. Insanity Plea. Boys will... Okay, yeah, there it is. There it is. 11 months ago, like a year ago, he start, started going mad. And this used to be like the only channel that he put stuff on. That he has another channel, which is actually his secondary channel. This is his part. This, this was his primary channel because this is where he started uploading all his shit. That this is where I watched all of his stuff. It's, it's confusing. But, but basically what I'm saying is this was originally the main account. And then he made, he made another one called 3Mad, and made that his main account. I don't know what the difference is, he just posted different stuff. Like, he just posted the same shit, but on a different account. Except, like, except for the schizo posts. He, he schizo posts over here. One, one hour, 33 minutes, 25 minutes, it's 27 minutes, fucking Pyro Live, 37 minutes, I don't know what, I don't know why, but... I mean, no, I do know why. Exactly why I just don't want to know, remember why. I have better things to do than to fucking care about these internet dramas and whatnot for like extended periods of time. That is. Anyway, about the thing. Uh, basically, the guy came out to be a pedophile and uh something else. I was looking at something related to this on my phone. A groomer and a pedophile? Okay, that's that's basically the same fucking thing. Yeah, but basically that. So what I think happened, either way, way even if, if my timeline is right or wrong, I think this guy started using drugs, and then, of course, he he wasn't really in control. I would think, and then what happened is he abused that girl, and all this stuff happened. So now the question remains, and I'm not really sure about the answer to this, but what really made, like, because I would really like to hit home the point that, yes, Tumat is responsible for his actions. I'm not really saying he is not, but I, th I think the drug usage was a big part of this, because I don't think anyone in their right mind would act as fucking unhinged as he did when all of this stuff was happening. So, what I I I'm really curious as to what pushed him over the edge like, to start using and acts like this i'm really curious it's like it's like an analyzing evil video right what, what pushed him over the edge so we don't really have an answer to this because this is not a video game or a movie or anything we can't really see it so yeah i guess i i guess i i, I guess maybe i'll, I'll fi find out because i'm curious and I'm, I'm playing with my sock as we speak it's a glove now okay well, yeah, so, basically, I think, I think his drug usage led him to, to do what he did, respond the way he did, and such. He's act he was acting crazy, either, like, he might have been sober and clean, even during the streams, but he probably, like, he probably acted that way to be consistent with the way he was acting before, because, like, let's say, like, let's say the initial... Let's say when he had the when he gave the initial response when he was on something, <clears throat> and 
for him to just be like, oh yeah, guys, I'm so sorry, uh, I fucked up, blah blah, I, I shouldn't have done that, I I'm going to compensate this girl for what what I did to her, and blah whatever, but uh, he he probably couldn't do that maybe, or like maybe they had a reason to not, I uh, I don't really know. If it were me, I would be like. Yes, this happened, blah, blah, I'm gonna compensate her and her family like this, and I'm gonna do what I can, blah, 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 but, yeah. Uh, so that's about it, and I just wanted to talk about that for a small bit, like 10 minutes, I think. So, yeah, see ya.